Welcome to today's pharmacology lecture, where we will delve into the intricate world of antiprotozoal drug action. Protozoa are single-celled microscopic organisms responsible for causing diseases such as malaria, leishmaniasis, and Chagas disease. Targeting these parasites with specific drugs is essential for successful treatment. In this lecture, we will explore various mechanisms by which antiprotozoal drugs exert their therapeutic effects. So, let's begin. Reactive oxygen species, ROS, are chemically reactive molecules that contain oxygen. These species play a crucial role in the biochemical processes within protozoa and can influence their survival and virulence. Antiprotozoal drugs exploit this vulnerability by inducing the generation of excessive ROS within the protozoal cells. This excess ROS overwhelms the antioxidant defense mechanisms, leading to severe oxidative stress and ultimately causing cellular damage and death. Protozoa rely on enzymes to regulate their redox homeostasis and maintain essential cellular processes. By targeting specific enzymes involved in redox reactions, antiprotozoal drugs disrupt the delicate balance required for protozoal survival. Inhibition of these enzymes can lead to the accumulation of toxic metabolites, which ultimately hampers their growth and proliferation. Protein kinases are key regulators of critical cellular pathways in protozoa. This makes them attractive targets for antiprotozoal drugs. By inhibiting specific protein kinases, these drugs interfere with vital signaling cascades, disrupting essential processes necessary for protozoal survival, such as cell division and metabolism. This multi-pronged approach effectively cripples the parasites and halts their pathogenicity. The cytoskeleton of protozoa provides structural support and facilitates essential cellular functions, including motility and division. Antiprotozoal drugs can target the cytoskeleton, leading to its destabilization and subsequent impairment of essential cellular activities. By interfering with the proper assembly or disassembly of cytoskeletal components, these drugs disrupt the internal architecture of protozoa, impeding their ability to invade host cells or move within tissues. Protozoal gene expression is intricately regulated to ensure the production of essential proteins required for pathogenicity. Antiprotozoal drugs can modulate gene expression by selectively targeting transcription factors or DNA-associated proteins. By interfering with these molecular machinery, the drugs disrupt the synthesis of vital proteins, leading to the inhibition of vital protozoal functions and ultimately impeding their survival. Protozoa possess antioxidant defense mechanisms to counteract the deleterious effects of ROS and maintain redox balance. Antiprotozoal drugs can disrupt these defense mechanisms by directly targeting key antioxidant enzymes or depleting essential cofactors required for their activity. Consequently, this inhibition of antioxidant defense systems results in the accumulation of ROS and subsequent cellular damage, contributing to the elimination of the parasites. Fatty acids are vital components of cellular membranes and serve as energy stores in protozoa. By interfering with the biosynthesis of fatty acids, antiprotozoal drugs disrupt vital cellular processes. This disruption alters the composition and integrity of the protozoal cell membrane, leading to impaired survival and replication. Additionally, the inhibition of fatty acid biosynthesis deprives the parasites of a crucial energy source, further hampering their growth. Mitochondria are essential organelles in protozoa that perform vital functions, including ATP production and maintaining calcium homeostasis. Antiprotozoal drugs can target specific mitochondrial proteins or enzymes, leading to mitochondrial dysfunction. This dysfunction disrupts ATP production, calcium signaling, and redox balance, resulting in metabolic collapse and ultimately killing the parasites. Protozoa rely on proteases for a variety of processes, including protein degradation, antigen presentation, and invasion of host cells. Antiprotozoal drugs can specifically inhibit these proteases, significantly compromising the survival and infectivity of parasites. An activation of these vital enzymes disrupts normal protein turnover, impairs host cell invasion, and compromises the parasite's ability to evade the immune system. Cell signaling pathways orchestrate critical physiological processes in protozoa, including growth, development, and evasion of host immune responses. Antiprotozoal drugs can modify these signaling cascades by targeting specific receptors or downstream effectors. This modulation disrupts the signaling networks, compromising essential protozoal processes and rendering them vulnerable to host immune defenses or other drug interventions. Protozoa rely on ion channels for various physiological functions, including nutrient uptake, osmoregulation, and parasite host cell communication. Antiprotozoal drugs can specifically target these ion channels, interfering with their proper functioning. By blocking essential ion channels, these drugs disrupt vital cellular processes, leading to ion imbalances, osmotic stress, and impaired communication with the host environment. These effects significantly compromise the parasite's ability to survive and propagate. 
Protozoa possess transporter proteins that facilitate the uptake and efflux of crucial nutrients, metabolic intermediates, and drug molecules. Antiprotozoal drugs can exploit these parasite-specific transporters by selectively interfering with their function. By hijacking or blocking these transporters, the drugs disrupt essential nutrient acquisition, energy metabolism, and drug efflux mechanisms, ultimately leading to parasite death. In this comprehensive pharmacology lecture, we have explored 12 key mechanisms by which antiprotozoal drugs exert their therapeutic effects. From targeting reactive oxygen species and enzymes involved in redox homeostasis to disrupting cytoskeletal integrity and modulating gene expression, these strategies provide a diverse and multifaceted approach in combating protozoal infections. Understanding these mechanisms is crucial for the development of novel and effective antiprotozoal drugs, enhancing our ability to combat these devastating diseases effectively.